Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Stopper and in this video we are discussing about yield to maturity. Uh, we are covering a topic of features of a bond or you can say features of fixed income securities like um, there are many important features and uh, we already covered three important ones like uh, um, par value which is also called nominal value or face value. Um, as well as we also cover maturity date and coupon rate and coupon payments uh, and uh, Today we will look at YTM yield to maturity as well as I will also explain you about uh, how to calculate yield to maturity of a bond and um, as always you will understand this with the help of an example so your concept should be clear. So um, let's get into this video. So um, just focus on the word like uh, yield to maturity means the yield or total return an individual receives if he or she hold that bond till maturity. Um, if you talk about the definition as written here yield to maturity is the total return that will be earned by someone who purchase a bond and holds it until maturity date. The yield to maturity might also be referred to as yield uh, internal rate of return IRR or the market interest rate at the time that the bond was purchased by the investor. Now if you want to know how, about how to calculate YTM yield to maturity, let's suppose like um, I have made a very good example for you guys. ABC Corporation bonds have 12 years remaining to maturity. Uh, interest is paid annually. The bonds have a thousand dollar par value, I can say face value and the coupon interest rate is 10 percent. The bonds sell at a price of eight fifty dollars. Uh, what is the yield to maturity? So um, we have to use a formula to calculate YTM and the formula is um, here. This is the formula to calculate YTM and um, as you see there is a proper way to calculate uh, YTM. Uh, first we need to extract the information, the important information from the question then we have to solve it further so it will, it will be easier for us uh, uh, to solve this. Uh, we already cover um, all features so we must know that what is the par value or face value as well as we must know what is the coupon rate and coupon payment uh, and we also know about maturity date as well as I already explained in our previous videos uh, these topics that uh, if a bond is trade lesser than its par value means it is a discounting bond so um, also here in this example the bond par value is thousand um, dollars so as you know uh, the price is uh, 850 means uh, it is a bond um, that uh, is trading on a discount and that is the bond the, the, the selling price of a bond is 850 and uh, if you talk about the maturity it is 12 years so that's how you can calculate like first we uh, extract the important information and um, the values provided in the, in the question are like par value which is given as thousand dollars and if you talk about market value it is uh, $850 means the bond is um, trade at a discount and uh, it is also the, the sold price, the selling price of a bond. So uh, the third is annual rate. It is a coupon annual rate. Uh, remember one thing that it is an annual uh, interest is paid annually. Okay. So um, the, the coupon rate is 10% uh, and um, maturity in years is 12 years like uh, N is equals to 12. Uh, payments is annually. Now using the YTM approximation method below the approximate YTM value um, will be through this formula like uh, YTM is equals to F minus P divided by N plus C and then divided by F plus P divided by 2. So um, where F is uh, representing the par value of the bond and uh, like uh, face value of a bond you can say and um, as here it is given as thousand dollars so um, in F we put thousand dollars and then P represents the price of a bond which is eight fifty dollars and um, we put that uh, as well in our formula so thousand minus eight fifty then we have N is the time to maturity of the bond means number of years which is twelve so we put twelve uh, and then uh, if we talk about the C 
it represents the annual coupon payments so it is 100 uh, annual coupon amount is uh, in this case uh, uh, sometimes uh, the bond uh, um, will be uh, paid uh, interest uh, semi annually or quarterly so um, if that in case you have to know about that how to calculate the coupon rate and coupon payment I already made a video so do watch that that how you can calculate um, uh, coupon rate and coupon payment if it is annual or if it is semi annual or if it is quarterly so I made a very complete video so do watch that then we have um, 1000 plus 850 divided by 2 uh, according to the formula the same amount um, uh, you have to put the same amount uh, like um, in uh, F minus P and F plus P if uh, if you talk about F minus P it is 1000 minus 850 and if you talk about F plus P it is 1000 plus 850 so um, if you put these values in your calculator like 1000 minus 850 divided by 12 you get the, um, uh, the certain amount and um, like if I calculate for you guys in my calculator like um, 1000 minus 850 gives us uh, 150 and if we divide 150 by 12 it gives us 12.5 and then if you plus with the 100 we will get uh, 112.5 and then uh, I, we would have to divide that uh, like 1000 plus 850 gives us 1850 and if we divide it by 2 we get 925 so 112.5 divided by 925 gives us 0 0.1216 which is um, if you multiply it by 100 uh, we get the YTM of 12.16 percent so that's how you can calculate your YTM so this is it for this video hope you understand about ytm and how to calculate ytm uh, if you like this video do subscribe our channel knowledge dropper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well so um, thank you so much everyone it's time to say bye bye